Hello everyone and welcome to the ninth episode of the Clueless Internet Podcast. I'm your host Alex, I'm joined once again by the lovely Howard. I am lovely. And we're back for another week of facts, fakes and fuck-ups. Mm. But there, there's, there's a change this week, Howard, actually. I've, uh, I've only gathered four stories and four facts for you. We still got the same... Three real, three fake, so don't worry. Still the same podcast format. But we thought we were flying too close to two hours uh, currently. So <laughs> no, I've, we were uh, pretty much flying into the two hours. Into hour the one. two hours, head first. <laughs> we broke our faces. and uh, Burnt our faces on the sun. So I've trimmed in our face. I mean, fa- facts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, face facts. Face facts to four each. Four each stories and facts. Are you ready to jump in to our first section? Go ahead. Today I learned. Sit down and shut, shut, shut up. All right, Howard, welcome to our first section today. I learned where I've gathered four facts from across Reddit, uh, one subreddit of Reddit. Uh, from all across the vast plains of one subreddit. <laughs> today I learned. It's all stories from across Ooh. the world. Maybe probably America. Um, and if you go on Reddit and submit your own, we might find it one day. We might it. find it. And uh, if you tweet us with it or email us, then <laughs> we will get to it. I'll give Maybe. you the email if it's good. later. Anyway, on to our first fact that is in America. Today I learned that gender reveals can be dangerous. Like the babies, the like baby gender, the reveal. baby gender reveals. Not like if you're a thirty-year-old man, and you just go, uh, "I'm a woman." <laughs> I imagine there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of emotions up in the air at, at events such as a. Well, it's more of the explosive kind rather than like. Oh, so it's the just identified. Oh kind. dear. So yeah, let's jump into it. In uh, in September in 2016, although the article did say April 2017, so uh, there's a bit of conflated uh, arguments on when it was. Oh. But I saw a few saying. I assume uh, that's just September. when it was reported. It could have easily been reported a bit late. I think it was, but the uh, but the article did say in April 2017. So uh, I, lying uh, liars. I think it did anyway. Oh. I haven't read it in a while. Uh, anyway, uh, an off-duty border patrol agent, Dennis Dickey, wanted right, to reveal Dickie. the gender of his unborn child after sticking his dicky in. Uh, Please tell me they named their child responsibly with a surname like Dickey. I'd, they didn't call I'd, him like Licky or anything. I don't actually get the name of the child. How <laughs> oh, good? Um, he essentially set up a box in a field that said boy and girl on it. So it was like, imagine sort of a target in the middle, and I'm, then there's boy I'm and girl it. on either side. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Locked in. It was uh, set to release coloured smoke, as it does. Blue for a boy and pink for a girl. If you haven't seen a gender reveal before, which I highly doubt, they're everywhere. This sounds very... Uh... Very constructed. Why? 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 Why can't pink be for the boy? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm it used gonna, to be. Uh, no, it Here's did. an extra it fact: did. pink used to be for boys because yep. it was seen as like the strong color. Because yeah. blue is kind of a it pastel, like passionate kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, pink son of a bitch! Pink, Look I love him go. it. Uh, the U.S. Forest Service has uh, released the video of the reveal. Uh, I'll show you that later, or you can yeah. check it out in the article. Uh, he proceeded to shoot the box. Blue smoke came out, so it was a boy. Hey. Congratulations. Uh, however, it he was... put the baby in the box and just shot the box. <laughs> Multiple times. Did I get it? <laughs> it's a boy. Was a boy. What does red mean? <laughs> <laughs> however, it was quickly followed by a large burst of flames. A huge, a huge oh, burst boy. of flames. Um, and it began to burn the immediate area around it, which was sort of like dry grass, shrubs, etc. It's a fire, baby. Seeing as uh, he's bored of gonna patrol, be a dragon. and it's sort of the dry area. I'm assuming like southern. It didn't take much. State. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, very and it humid. Probably did not take much to uh, to start this. I'm up. Sorry, very not humid. The opposite. <laughs> very uh, dry. This actually created Arizona's 2016 sawmill fire. <laughs> yeah, it did. Which burned 1,547 acres, six kilometers squared. Nice. Before being contained after three or four days. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> so, Christ! So it uh, it it took a lot. It took a lot out of the uh, local area. Was it 
a fairly sparse area or was there a lot of property damage? Well, uh, 30 homes oof, uh, were oof. evacuated. Not oh, I thought you were going to say Were just evacuated. And uh, two minor injuries were reported. So I assume it's just sort of people putting out the fire might have got a bit too close. I thought they just got a bit excited getting out of the house. And then they just jumped in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Take me! <laughs> uh, so essentially, essentially nothing too major. Or so you thought. Uh, Did I? Dickie pleaded guilty to a federal misdemeanor charge for causing the fire. Which ended up causing eight million dollars worth of damage. That's an expensive baby. And I have put this in brackets. Not sure if that's accurate because I don't. It didn't mention anything about any houses and stuff being uh, burnt down as a result of this. So I don't yeah. know where the eight million has come from, unless it there was a lot of expensive shrubbery, and um, it might have been manpower actually, three or four days. Uh, yeah. How well, I was gonna say it could be like, well, I've, uh, yeah. How, how much but does, does a does... helicopter cost? If they had to get a helicopter, yeah, to there's going to be a lot of municipal costs. It's just going to yeah. paperwork, all that. Yeah, I feel absolutely horrible about it. It was probably one of the worst days of my life. Dicky said after the birth of his child. No, I'm joking. <laughs> he just said about this. Uh, he agreed to pay a total of eight point one million dollars in restoration. Oof. Um, what? Restitution. Sorry, not restoration, How? but both. How's he going to afford? I don't know unless he's going to he pay just it set, off monthly. He just exploded a box in a field. How's it going? <laughs> I know, like, oh, I, I don't know how far along he's got with that payment, shall I say? Um, um starting with initial, starting with an initial payment, one hundred thousand dollars. What one million? Now there's there's one dollar. There's there's one. <laughs> there's one. I'll be back next month see, for the next see you dollar. Next month. Bye. <laughs> this is worse than my Netflix subscription. <laughs> uh, and I want to pay that one. He will also spend five years on probation. Um. Again, I did see I did see uh, another article saying that he had to pay an initial two hundred and fifty thousand. So I'm not sure which one's more accurate, but I'm going with the one that the redditor associated with because the post. We trust them because so I very trust much. the internet as far as I can throw it, <laughs> <laughs> which is very far. It's very light. And uh, that was the end of our first fact. He, oh. had, to, he had to pay eight point one. It's a bit of an abrupt end that one. It uh, is, but a hundred thousand dollars. And he's got a baby on the way as well. You think so? How much? Does, I know a baby over the lifespan of from uh, a child to eighteen, they cost a couple million dollars at least. They, they can't no, not a couple million. I think it, I think no. it is. I think it no, is. no, not not raising a child. Now, if you looked at the actual number, it's a lot less than a million, but it's still a staggering amount to raise a, a child. Yeah. We will have a look after this one. Uh, <laughs> today, I learned about the Russian removal. Russian removal. So this like took it. place in uh, on Sunday, September the 29th, twenty ninth, nineteen twenty nineteen twenty nine. Nineteen Swenson. Nineteen Swenson. I can't uh, speak Russian. Nineteen twenty nine. It was essentially like any other Sunday. It was a rest day after six days of work. Um, this day Oof. is used for personal pleasures, errands, and everything in between. We all know what they Sunday play is. Tetris. We uh, play Tetris. Go in the garden and drink and vodka. Play Tetris Tet- for some Tet- reason. Tetris vodka. <laughs> we love Tetris vodka. Put the slot it in my mouth. <laughs> hey, the vodka. No, you're the vodka. I mean. my language. Put it away. Oh. <laughs> so, I, mm. so essentially, it's just it's just a nice day to kick about and relax, as we all know. But the Soviet government, led by Joseph Stalin, didn't see it that way. Sundays were seen as a threat to the industrial progress of the country. <laughs> we're not working enough. There's people just existing all about the place. Why no are good. they not running to work? You, why is your hand not on labor? I don't get. <laughs> why you choose no be work home? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so the following Sunday, 80% of the workforce, so it would be like seven days later, which it would be the... Sunday. Six. Or the 6th or the 7th, <laughs> which will be Sunday. <laughs> um, so 80% of the workforce were made to go to work on their rest day. The other 20% were allowed to stay home for some reason. I assume that's office work. Office yes. work and yes, you stay home and you do the paperwork. You can I don't know what accent this is. I've come French. Yeah, I am from yeah. f- Russia. I can Russia. only apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go with my uh, first mispronunciation of the day. This the... is called Nepreryvka. 
Nepreryukka. Nepreryukka. Essentially, a continuous working week. In English, a continuous working week. Um, it was five day long, uh, five days long, and uh, break days were staggered in between the in between the week. Essentially, it's it's essentially like a week anyway. Yeah. Um, but it was so the country could be uh, working continuously. <laughs> so essentially, you would probably have a group of people that have Mondays off, but then the other people that could take over only have Tuesdays off, and yeah. then it's sort of like that whole... It it's successfully turned the working week into a conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, comrade. Now back to work. <laughs> it's your day. Um, it was essentially designed to improve productivity, and uh, also as a side caveat... And it... keep everyone in poverty and... Terrible pain. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible pain. <laughs> uh, and it was, uh, as I say, as a caveat to the uh, to the productivity going up, religious worship uh, became too troublesome. To These be people on their knees all day and not in front of my penis. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> um, <laughs> but however, this, like, so essentially people were... Um, People were finding it hard to uh, meet up with family and meet up with friends and do sort of religious worship. Anything. Everyone, <laughs> well, everyone would be off on different days. So, like, you'd have, if you had it on, like, uh, it yeah. would be Monday to Friday because it's five week. See you in three days for dinner, honey. See you in three months when we have day off together. Is that a new kid? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it no, f- no, Jesus, no. no. <laughs> Back we to work. Got time. Jesus was a layabout who did not work every Monday, Friday, day between. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Week. <laughs> um, it was eventually changed in 1931, however, um, when the cycle was extended to uh, last six days. It failed horribly. This this experiment. <laughs> it failed hor- horribly after 11 years of trial and error. The project was axed. Uh, I don't in get June why it doesn't work. I do not get why you want home. I, uh, Children? People? Family? You hate your family. Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> get away. <laughs> um, so, how exactly did it work? Or, well, not work in this case. Essentially, as I say, you would have you would have a five or six day cycle at this point. Um, with each day being, being colour coded and marked with a symbol. Um, the population would be split into groups with different cycles. Blue is work day. Each with own. Green is work day. Blue Yellow is, is work, work day. day. Orange. Day off. Day, no. Work day. Half work day. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. Work day. Double work day. <laughs> I added extra day. Black is day off. Love it. Um, so essentially, they would just they would split the split the country, the population, the whole population, into uh, different groups and different cycles, each with their own rest days. Um, Oof. Each day was marked with a politically accepted symbol. Um, one was a wheat sheaf, so like uh, like you know, just like the wheat plant. Yeah. Um, one was a red star. One was a hammer and sickle. Of course. <laughs> one was a book, and uh, finally. A Buddha Novica. A Buddha Novica? I don't know what this is. Or a wooden military cap. So I think it's that, you know, the one with the ears. Oh! The one with the ears on the yes. side. Silly funny head. I'm but assuming... keep head warm. Very good. Wall work. Um, I'm assuming the wheat sheaf <laughs> one is their day off. Um, maybe book is education. <laughs> if if the, the system is simple enough uh, for at least us to understand, I assume <laughs> the wheat sheaf is the day off. Um... It essentially became shift work on the largest scale ever. Everyone was on the same. Every, everyone was on the same shift. Here is the rotor. It's on the uh, side of building. Everyone is on. You work every day. But I thought they have day. You work every day. <laughs> We've built special wall just for work, rotor. <laughs> this wall is yours. See all red? Get back to work. See, this is where you were born. And here... Is where you die. Here is where you're not bored. The opposite. Opposite of of bored. And Get here back to work. is where you were brought into not dead. Birth. <laughs> there Barf. is your mother. 
there. She was not working on day of birth. So we killed her. <laughs> oh, I've got to say overtime. <laughs> killed her. Overtime. With overtime. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> So uh, people started to write into a uh, local newspaper. I say local newspapers, r- just Russian newspapers across the uh, said country. I assume they were mostly government owned. Prob. I don't know because I don't know if if it would have been government owned. I don't think they would have uh, been able to publish like criticisms of their system. It, or can they? well in the times of Stalin, he didn't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> because dictators. Are big fat fucking cunts, <laughs> and they tend to just you know black out the media and decide what hap- what goes out. So basically, whenever you get like, and here's a news report, it's basically what the the, ta- the, the dictator wants. Report. Yeah, it's exactly what the dictator wants you to hear. Oh. Yeah, gosh. Well, people started to write in. What is there for us to do at home if our wives are in the factory, our children at school, and no one can visit us? It is no holiday. Oh, sounds like if heaven. You have to have it all Everybody alone. Everybody working. Everybody. Perfect. Everybody. How are we to work now? If mother is free on one day, father on another, brother on a third, and myself on the fourth. So people essentially just got a little... I say get a little bit rowdy. That's like sort of the most polite rowdiness I've people ever seen. People are basically just like tearing the head out. I haven't seen my mother in three years. <laughs> I see her in passing on morning. Uh, she rides the bus that I drive <laughs> <laughs> to my other three jobs. <laughs> <laughs> my other buses. Uh, it essentially made relationships harder and religious practices, essentially. It Im- basically impossible. made everything impossible. <laughs> it, it, it made everything extremely difficult. Did they, they must have had sports and shit like that. So, gee, God knows, like... Well... Yeah, Starling well, knows. they they all had like Olympic teams and stuff, so they must have had all like the. But it wasn't it wasn't like uh, sports wasn't for recreation. Uh, these people are for uh, Olympics. Uh, they are also money. You are also <laughs> athletic taxes. <laughs> Leave. Basically, the only people in the country allowed to do sports were the fucking like Olympic athletes. That was it. <laughs> but when they die, no one else takes over. We feed these ones the real food. Uh, everyone else gets the brick. Uh, the sand brick brick sand brick and brick. Here's your bonus brick brick. Here's your bonus Very pavement. Good. <laughs> Tasty. Um, so <laughs> this was essentially a way for the Soviet Union to divide and conquer the public at this point. Cause... Basically, just break their will, their yeah. spirits, and. But after major yeah. backlash in 1930, the Russian government allowed for uh, the request of sync days for family and friends. So, like, you would be able to say, oh, like, all my family and friends are off on this day, so I'll do the same. Yeah. Um, which... Uh, my mother has died at the machine. Oh, sick day. <laughs> <laughs> she gets sick day. Sync day. <laughs> oh, it's not sick day, it's sync day. Sync so, like, day. you're in synchronicity. Um, oh, sync! Oh, so it's not even oh. not a sick day. They I just, thought you said a sick day. No, no, they, so get, they literally... get to sync their days with like. But how family. often do they get a sync day? Was that? I don't know if that was continuous because I I assume you one mean... sync day, <laughs> <laughs> one sync day a year. Everybody sync Prepare. up. <laughs> um, uh, and as I say, the extended uh, they did extend it to six days eventually. Uh, that so they got like a week. So essentially, a sync day. I don't know. I don't know if they just not all in one, obviously, but a week over like a year. I got the meaning that essentially it would be you could uh, just sync your days continuously. So if, if oh if okay it allows for it, you could sync the days. Yeah. So like if you say, oh my mom and dad are off on Mondays, can I have Mondays off? Oh duh, and then you're just like yeah, great. Uh, duh yes, duh. kill him <laughs> <laughs> as he just walks kill. out. Um, so essentially, after the six-day cycle uh, was introduced, it was clear the Russian government was trying to attack religious activities because they they were giving into that, but still not giving back Sundays. <laughs> essentially, um, so I, I I keep saying I assume I assume it was Monday to Saturday at this point um, at this point in time. Um, yeah. But it, but it was clear that it was a religious attack because it wasn't actually hindering people for time off. It was actually giving them more, yeah. as uh, most people ended up having 70 days off as opposed to the 52 
they would have had Ooh. normally somehow. I don't Work know how that in works. the communist system. Exactly. Hell yeah, dude. <sighs> it's awful. Um, <laughs> but the uh, the uh, the thing is, farmers and uh, rural folk stuck to the traditional seven day weeks. <laughs> Oh, so they well, they rebelled. Well, it's there. It's not just that. If you were, if you live and work on a farm, it's a lifestyle. So yeah. as well as a job, uh, if you don't, if you don't work that extra day, then your farm falls behind. Yeah. Your farm is the business. You probably don't work. You probably where you can don't work as many hours as other people in a day. You like, probably do the morning and then you've pretty much done probably by like early afternoon. Yeah, if you depending on the size of your farm. Obviously. True. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you got. A, massive farm. Yeah. you're on your feet all day mate um but these rural people stuck to the uh, stuck to the seven day week and uh this caused rural and urban life to be out of sync so they didn't have sync days yeah uh, i think i think i know where this story's going i've i may have read about this we'll find it so uh, once you said farmers i was like oh no, oh no this is gonna get dark <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh no no it doesn't get dark oh okay no, this, then this is quite a light story to i'm be thinking of yeah okay yeah that's they don't get killed um so essentially as some workplaces are on six day weeks six day work weeks some transport companies or most transport companies were on five day work week so they yeah. stuck to that one and people in rural areas stuck to the seven day work week it kind of caused a fucking countrywide chaos yeah with the fact that everyone was just nothing nothing essentially like a lot of stuff just stopped working yeah um this coupled with the productivity actually falling and machines breaking down more due to a constant work you wouldn't have like yeah you wouldn't have a day where it's not being used it would be continuously like grinding well there's no there's no incentive to do well not in, really. In, in, especially in Stalin's communist regime, it, the incentive is to just get to the next crumb of food and to make it through the week to, with your family alive. Yeah. Uh, and it's the idea, the idea of being industrious is basically you just you kind of show up and you m- make sure you. You you make sure you look like you're working. You're able to work. Yeah. Yeah. You make sure you you make sure you're doing the bare minimum so that they can't say you're not working. Uh, or not the bare minimum. There's also the problem of uh, over overproduction uh, with the communist regime. Oh, more supply than demand. Yeah. Uh, oh, that could happen, couldn't it? Because if you're just working continuous work for no you're fucking reason, fucking yeah, no. The industry is supposed to work towards demand, not. Yeah, Pro- especially if you're like manufacturing things that people use in their off time. Yeah, so the government comes in, takes over industry, and just goes right. You're going to work full fucking throttle, and then after, I'm guessing this has been a few years of them with well, this, this is system. Eleven years. Okay, 11 so years. over over eleven years of this system, people are now on complete burnout. People are just working on dregs of fuel. <laughs> well, talking about that, I've got good news for you. Uh, on uh, June 26th, 1940, the seven-day work week was reinstated. Aye. And people got back to their usual routine. Terrible lives. Life. Oh, um, however, this... It just this, gets worse for these people. Well, this isn't, a, this isn't a good ending story, I'm afraid. Uh, however, this came with uh, quitting your own... Quitting your job, missing a day's work, or even being 20 minutes late became a criminal offence uh, with mandatory prison time for each offence and, and pri- that's where the story and, ends well I was going to say prison in uh, Stalin's regime was uh, probably death. a camp uh, a special kind of death camp death yes where you don't return so prison isn't really prison in those mm. no no well now I am test sad <laughs> Well, let's make you unsad with my next fact. Today I learned about the real mega penguins. If you remember back to a, uh, I think it was a few episodes ago, uh, where I talked about yes. that prankster who uh, wore those big metal uh, penguin-like shoes and walked oh, across yeah, the beach. Yeah. Uh, this has nothing to do with that. Uh, I just thought I'd bring it up. It's just mega penguins. <laughs> so... Uh, 
so this is so this is the real deal of that essentially this is a real deal of that motherfucking huge penguin this is a short story um in 2014 the remains of a penguin species from 37 million years ago were uncovered Ooh, i don't know about i don't know about this this is nice this was uncovered by a team of researchers from the la plata museum in argentina it is the most complete fossil ever unearthed from antarctic from the antarctic um which i find hard to believe the fact that it's just covered in ice you would think there'd be a lot more uh preservation uh, um in there. yeah um uh, i'm pretty sure i think that might be a, a little bit of exaggeration because that yeah or it's just slightly more complete than maybe the last one. yeah because to be honest a lot of stuff gets i would have thought the antarctic was the perfect place to find pres- preserved remains or at least like better remains than anywhere else i am going to let you try and pronounce this one because i i guarantee that i will have some sort of seizure so let's it, have a look it's that one right at the top it's that one right at the top it starts with a p i think palladi palladiapetes i think palladiapetes kilowowski kilowowski which is a f- Ke- in- oh no oh Klikowski. Klikowski. Yeah. All right. So, that has already been dubbed the Colossus mm. Penguin. Uh, these ancient penguins would have dwarfed penguins in this generation. So, you know, like, I didn't know how tall actual emperor penguins are. They're like, um, they're up to your chest. Well, what what age were these from? Sorry. So, these were 37 million years ago. Because there was the, there was a period of where time everything was where everything was essentially gigantic. Yeah, it was like, like trees were huge. Trees, bugs, insects, everything, everything was gigantic. Was I don't know why we shrunk. Well, it, it's not really sustainable for species evolving and becoming more efficient, uh, quicker. Smaller. Um, yeah, smaller, quicker. Um, the bigger your mass, the more resources you have to use to move around everything, which takes... Plus the Ice Age and the asteroid happened yeah. and killed a lot of the dinosaurs well, who were pretty big yeah, and uh, allowed for a lot of smaller creatures to thrive. To thrive. Um, uh, yeah. But the, as I say, the, like the emperor penguins today, like they, they kind of, they come up to your chest yeah. and I didn't know they were that fucking tall. Um, but these, em- the, these emperor, pe- well, the Colossus penguins stand uh, at about two meters high. So just like a door frame. A yeah. door frame high, so bigger than us. Um, but that's when it's that's when it's like beak is is up. That's when its beak is pointed up. Yeah. Um, or ju- or just looking up a little bit, essentially. Yeah. Um, if its beak is pointed down, it's one point six meters, which is still quite yeah. still quite tall. Um, and it weighs roughly a hundred and fifteen kilograms. <laughs> um, so you wouldn't want to get crushed by a penguin. Or well, in emperor, comparison, yeah. emperor penguin. I think I'll let you read. Uh, its scientific name again. It's in brackets. It's a quite yeah, these these scientific names oh, uh, are quite uh, quite difficult. This ooh, this one's a hard one. Apt Aptenoditis Aptenoditis forstery forstery. Aptonitis forstery, I think. Yeah, I did not want to pronounce that. <laughs> Steve. It's, just, it's, it's Steve. This is my mate, Penguin Steve. Penguin Steve. He is a penguin who is also my mate. Fucking massive. Love him. Um, essentially, these ones, the current emperor penguins, stand at 1.36 metres, which is still quite a respectable height. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's still he quite could still, he, One of those, with their body mass, could still knock you off your fucking feet, mate. Mm-hmm. Well, that's with his feet pointed up. Um... It's 1.1 meters with its head down, um, so just like the round of its head. Yeah. And it so, only so what's that about? 1.1 meters. That's what about three. That's like feet. half a door. That's probably like where the door handle is. Or actually, no, it might. No, it's less than that. Yeah. Oh no, less. it would be. Yeah. So yeah. so it wouldn't come. So it's about about, it. about the size of a, of a child. Yeah. Oh, so it probably oh no probably not your chest then probably maybe your abdomen uh, yeah probably if it was looking up your... it would be poking your apple but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's where I got it from <laughs> <laughs> I love it poking my nipple um... <laughs> is that the uh, the new uh, Japanese kids uh, cartoon where you go and collect the poking nipples poking <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm that not. Show. I'm not even a dad. I love it. 
but I got all the, the dad jokes. <laughs> um, so this this uh, this Colossus penguin being a bigger one, it allows it to stay underwater for a lot longer. Seeing as it's got bigger Good lungs, lungs. Yeah. bigger set of lungs, it allows it to stay underwater for forty minutes, making Jesus. it the ultimate forty minute hunting machine. Because they are they are mammals. I don't I know myself. Right in check, thinking that, I'll uh, carry on. I'll check. So just to compare the height of that, so that that's two meters while standing with its nose up. The average British man is one point seven seven meters, five foot ten inches. Um, uh, oh, I've even written down the the uh, inches of them. So the the current emperor penguin goes to four foot five inches, and the colossus penguin would uh, stand at a. Six foot eight inches. That's with them Jesus looking upwards. Fucking so Christ. it's <laughs> that. How big is Shaq? Shaq's probably like nearly that, nearly that height. Um, is he in the seven foot range or is he, he might still... be in the seven foot range? Actually. But yeah, six point still, eight, six, eight. That's basically seven fucking feet. Hell, Jesus Christ! That is a uh, so. F- Fuck that is me. a mega penguin, how, dude. How heavy were those fuckers? One hundred and fifteen kilos. Jesus fucking Christ. That's a big penguin. Yeah, it is. That's 115 bags of sugar right there, dude. Some big ass sweet penguin. <laughs> That's a sweet ass penguin. That's a sweet ass penguin. <laughs> well, moving on from penguins, let's move on to. If you, uh, if you lifted up their flap, did they have a little joke written under their arm as what well? What flap? <sighs> the flipper. <laughs> Which one? No, it's not a flap. Which one? <laughs> yeah, the one. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Moving on to our final fact. Today I learned no witches were burned in the US. No oh, no, they were burned. all bleed drowned, weren't they? Well, um, this was the... Uh, you might have heard of this. Wait, I think it was us who did a lot of burning, didn't we? Burning and hanging. And, yeah. yeah. The uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. The Salem Witch Trials. Oh, yes. Have you heard about that one? Yeah. Well, let's get into this. This took place in Massachusetts between February 1692 and May 1693. The witch hunt actually began with Betty Paris, Abigail Williams, and Anne Putnam. Um, Putnam where? Putnam in on the cross and (laughs) burning them. (laughs) Uh, When they began experiencing fits. uh, (laughs) Fits of rage. Fits of witch. (laughs) Uh, Where they'd be writhing on the ground and speaking nonsense. So essentially just having like a trauma. Speaking in tongues. Were they? Okay, so do we know if they were having... Do we know <laughs> if they were doing uh, the, the whole like religious thing, speaking in tongues, all that kind of stuff, or were they medically actually having like seizures? I don't know. I I hope for their sake it was sort of the speaking in tongues, and it is demonic in some fashion. I hope it's not that they were medically ill. Um, Oof. but I mean, three of them did it. Oh, and they're not related. They're not. Related. Well, if it was medical, three of them didn't do it. The, it's happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus go, Christ. Oh, five o'clock. Of it. Time Betty. for a seizure. Hold on, guys. Scrum. Um. Scrum. Did it. Blow it. Put it. Drown him. Drown him. <laughs> He's a witch. <laughs> I'm just frustrated. <laughs> so Betty's dad, Samuel Paris, uh, was a reverend. He and a doctor, Thomas Putnam, which I assume is. Uh, Mrs. Putnam's uh, husband. Anne Putnam. Anne Putman. I think it's their father's. Are they are they putting on the Ritz? Put on putting on the Ritz. Get out. Um, uh, I'm already gone. <laughs> Bye. See ya. <laughs> um, so essentially, they, uh, they believe that they were bewitched, these two men. I think they're their fathers, not their husbands or anything. Oh, okay. Um, after interrogating them about who bewitched them, they all snitched on the family slave from fair, Barbados. At this Kitumba. time, at this time, fathers aren't much better than husbands. To be fair, yeah, well, they're all pricks at this point. Yeah, um, as I say, they, <laughs> uh, they 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 snitched on the family slave from Barbados, Tituba, which is a awesome. It is a awesome. um, superhero name that is, as well as two elderly women who they did not care to name, so they're just staying as elderly women. Um, elderly woman one and elderly woman two, two places please played by Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox yes elderly women <laughs> um, 
So Tatuba is recorded to have said that the devil approached her directly. After torturing the three women further, they ratted out even more people. Jesus Christ. The village put together a special court to investigate the witches, where uh, more than 200 people were accused. So these three women, or these three women and the amalgamation of everyone else who was uh, snitched on, snitched on 200 people. Uh, Jesus Christ. At this point, it's just... I just want the 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 torture to end, so I'm just gonna say, ah, uh, uh, Bob from down the road, he's a witch. Yeah, it's fucking. I saw I, him watering his plants with his nipples. He's, uh, uh, he's clearly a witch. <laughs> I saw him. He, he's yeah, he's got a cat. He's black. Um, basically, he's got a pointy hat as well. So drown him. Drown him. I was gonna say burn him, but that's the whole point of this. Story. Drown him in fire. Um, <laughs> So uh, they weren't burned. Those uh, nineteen people were found guilty, and they uh, they weren't burned. Out of how many? What, like four hundred people? Two hundred. About about two hundred at at the time. Um, Jesus, still. But nineteen people. Bad ratio. 19, nineteen people were found guilty, but they weren't burned, Howard. They were hanged instead. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say they got, somehow got away. <laughs> they were let free. They flew off. They were let brooms. free into some nooses. <laughs> <laughs> we threw them and they landed somehow on their neck. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so all of them, like the 19 were hung apart from uh, one guy. Giles Corey, a relatively rich farmer in the village who uh, actually even accused his own wife of being a witch. <laughs> I just need to get rid of her at this I point. I she probably just annoyed him. He was like, fucking, she's a witch. You're she's like, a witch. She keeps putting spells on me. He just puts like something on a rope and just levitates it. He goes, whoa, look, go on. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> just fuck off. Burn him, he's a witch. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hang me uh, instead. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, she's a witch. Oh. <laughs> um, he got accused of consorting with the devil. Of course he did. Somehow, somehow he just writ letters on. How something. did you find out? The devil told us. I am the devil. <laughs> Hang him. Welcome to Salem. Uh, by his rival's daughter. Ooh. So essentially, his rival, da- his rival's daughter, ratted him out. And by ratted at this point, we mean made him a bunch of shit. Well, here's where it gets <laughs> even darker. So, I don't think it gets much darker than the Salem uh, trials. Uh, I mean, it does. Uh, he knew that the reverend and the doctor were trying to con people out of their possessions, essentially, because um, suspected witches had their property confiscated and given to the church. So every time somebody got oh, accused of being a witch... Of course it did. Of course it did. So he refused to plead either guilty or innocent. This was met with torture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> basically, everything's met with torture. Essentially. Did you just inter- interrupt me? Tort, tort Torture. Them. Find the witches. <laughs> Get the fire. Um, I'm sorry. No, we don't burn people here. I'm oh, sorry. We don't burn people. Get the fire rope. <laughs> um, so they tortured him to get a confession out of him. He was sandwiched between two planks of wood and rocks were put on top of him. What the fuck? To literally squeeze the confession out of him. <laughs> They've keep got, going, we've almost got it. They've got some orthodox methods that just we've keep getting little pebbles. We've almost got him. <laughs> just a little more. His eyes popped out. Oh, God. That's a confession, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's a witch. No one does that. Only witches go. Spells. <laughs> oh. He eventually died. Um, because he was squeezed Because he was squeezed to death. Like toothpaste. But this motherfucker <laughs> went down fighting dude he was rumored to have yelled at the torturers to add more weight before it crushed him so he was like he was like fuck it i'm gonna die anyway well he well, well at you that, po- anyway, at that point you? he was like just hurry up put the weight on so that i just get the, um, the fuck out of here yeah essentially like you've got my you've got everything of mine essentially yeah that, like they've got they've got all of his furniture his wife who he, he didn't want her anyway, but like, <laughs> I mean, he was trying to get her killed. But the most witch. tragic, he got they got the furniture, Howard. They got my magic fern. I mean, they got my furniture. They got my magic rug. I mean, rub. I mean, oh, my God. wife. <laughs> my wife gives magic rub. <laughs> but in fall of uh, 1692, is was that? Before oh uh, well it would have been in the fall of 1692 uh, like gone crossing over into 1693. Yeah. Um, 
Boston rallied against these witch trials. Uh, once Governor William Phipps' wife was accused of witchcraft herself. Oh, so as soon as somebody high up in power got their, got their relative uh, accused of being a witch, it was like, oh, the, the, ridiculous, ridiculous. How, da- how dare you basically, accuse anyone of witchcraft? Basically, it's the people who are like, who preach against like uh, gay people now and then they're like as soon as they find out the kid's gay it's like not mine you <laughs> fool <laughs> not this one uh, this one is perfect because it came from my ball <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, he suspended the, which is which. this, this is a, a really fucking awesome name he suspended the witch task force which I'm I'm guessing has a I'm hoping they called the Witask Force. The wit the Wat The Wachowski Force. The Wat Force. Oh, so why? <laughs> Establishing a new court which cleared fifty three of the remaining fifty six defendants and pardoned the remaining three along with five other convicted sorcerers. The remaining three were rich people's kids. The remaining three were witches. They were pardoned. No, they weren't. Rich um, people's kids. I probably. Um and they, uh, and as I say, with along with these people, they uh, freed uh, five convicted sorcerers bound for a uh, gallows hill. Oh, did they really define between witches and sorcerers then? I guess so. They must have. Oh, uh, which is fuck. what is the difference? I think uh, one a, has a cat. I think a, and a hat. I think a sorcerer is a. I'm probably wrong, but I think they're a conjurer, whereas a witch is... I thought you were going to say something about <laughs> They're total cunts. They're just cunts. I think they're conjurers and witches are... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think that, I think there is a difference. It's a, re... it's a stupid difference. <laughs> so they I just let their magic grow on people. Uh, yeah. It's my personality. <laughs> um, so no one was burned in the witch hunts in America. That was uh, more of a tradition, as he said, in Europe. Uh, even then they would be burned afterwards. So, like, they wouldn't be burned at the stake alive. They'd sort of be burned afterwards to uh, prevent any more black magic. <laughs> and um, straight-up burning in Britain was uh, reserved for treason. So you would have to be very... You'd have to be treasonous to get burned alive at the stake. Uh, Just as a I, th- I thought. I thought people... Generally, I thought there was a lot more burning in this country, but I suppose we did like to draw and quarter repeat. Seems wrong. a bit un- inhumane. Um, what the 1600s? Yes, pretty much everything <laughs> pretty today. F- and the 1700s is pretty shit as well. And the 2000s and the 2010s and every year. <laughs> no, to be fair, we're, we're uh, at least we don't burn people. When you when you consider people often like to think that we haven't fucking progressed because it feeds a good narrative. But when you when you re- when you actually just look at history for five fucking minutes, you go, oh Jesus. Christ, <laughs> we don't burn people anymore, like you know, or we hang don't, anyone. We don't put people in in hospitals because they're slightly intelligent for eighty years until they and then release them, and then they die, and then they don't have anywhere to go, and they end up living and dying in a in sanitarium. Throwback to last episode. Was it last episode? Yes, I think. Oh, I think it was last mm-hmm. episode. It was either last episode or the episode before. I let you find out. That listeners. story clearly left a lasting impact on me. <laughs> Well, let's move on to something that hopefully will leave a lasting impact on you as well. To our next section. Three real, three fake. Three real and three fake. All right, Howard, welcome back to our second section of the podcast, Three Real, Three Fake, where I've gone through the internet this week. These are relatively new stories, so you may have heard of a few, you may have not. We shall see how keenly you have been keeping your eye on the news, everyone at home, and you, Howard. I haven't actually been keeping my eye on the news much. I've been trying to avoid it for a bit. (laughs) To be honest, like, these these don't, like, some of these stories tend to not really get into a major circulation. Um, I see these more like sort of little side pieces, little side stories. And stuff like that. But let's jump into it. My first one for you is truck driver claims he was saved by Gandalf during 320 mile round trip to New York. What do you mean claims? Pardon me. Of course he, of course he was. <laughs> is that real or is that fake? I'm going to say real. Real? All right. 
My next one is Mysterious Organism, The Blob, unveiled at Paris Zoo. It has 720 sexes. Genders. Sexes, genders, I don't really know. Real or fake? I'm going to say fake based on I would have probably heard that. Okay. So, our next one is... Police robot told woman to go away after she tried to report crime, then sang a song. True. You want to say that one's true? That's fucking true. Um, my next one for you is Japanese hotel chain. Sorry that hackers may have watched guests through bedroom robots. Bedside robots. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. Real or fake? Oh, fuck. I'm going to say that the, 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 the Japanese people are too respectful. I'm going to say fake. Fake? Okay. Yeah. And next one is Brawl breaks out in Philadelphia's Magic Gardens after man eats 15 live mice to protest price increase. True. True? Okay. And uh, I think this is my last one for you. I, I think we went true, false, true, false, true. <laughs> <laughs> so my last one is German band Die Totenhausen. Hosen? Die Totenhausen? Have you heard of Hosen. this? Um, uh, plan a tour Plan to tour in a submarine. That will submerge mid-show and fire missiles. I'm going to have to say what? false because I've run out of trues, but okay. we'll see. You want to say false? All right, let's go through these. So, our first one is police robot told woman to go away <laughs> is real. Of course it was. That one's real. <laughs> do, 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 our do, mysterious do. organism, the blob, unveiled at, Par- uh, veil- unveiled at the Paris Zoo, uh, which has 720 sexes, is real. Oh, so I just hadn't heard of that one. Truck driver claims he was saved by Gandalf during 320 mile round trip to New York was fake. Oh. Was a fakey dakey. Um, Japanese hotel chain, sorry that hackers may have watched guests through bedside robots, is real. Oh, you dirty fuckers. <laughs> Brawl breaks out in uh, Philadelphia's Magic Gardens was fake. It was fake. And uh, last but not least, uh, you got this one right as well. Hey. German band Die Totenhausen with the submarine tour is uh Oh, wait, is no, fake. I, I said this one was... F- oh, no, yes, no you yes, said that was fake uh, yeah, because yeah. that was your last one. I'll donate. So you got two right. Um, <laughs> that one that one actually, as I was reading it back, I was like, oh, no, I didn't put fire torpedoes, <laughs> not <laughs> missiles. I was like, oh, no, he's going to get it. So, which one do you want to start off with, Howard? The mysterious organism? I, I want to hear about this robot. You want to hear about the uh, bed Get robot? the fuck out of here. The... Oh, the police robot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, this is in Salt Lake Park, Los Angeles. So, all of these happened relatively recently. Um, uh, within probably about the last week or so. Um, <laughs> I wish I'd been there to see the robot tell a woman to go fuck herself. Well, <laughs> and, then, and then just be like, I gotta have faith to faith. I Ooh, hate I all the humans. <laughs> I hate all the humans. Step away. I should away. probably kill all the humans. Oh, human. Do, do, do. I should pro- emergency, emergency, <laughs> human. Um, Go about your day, citizen. The robot is actually sort of like an egg shape. It's like it's like I've an seen egg them. shape. I've seen them. I know exactly what these? robot this is. Yeah. This is great. Um, <laughs> he's called HP Robocop. Oh. And also, an what's equally- the HP for? Is that oh, as in HP Hewlett Packard? No. Um, no? Uh, maybe who knows? Oh. Uh, I think it might just be Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what it stands for actually. Um, but an equally awesome name, Kogo Kuabara. Kubara, I think it's that. Ran to the robot and pressed the emergency alert button because a brawl had broken out. <laughs> so this one's help, a real brawl. Help. Everybody's fighting. Oh look, a robot. <laughs> that will fix everything. Help me. <laughs> He's just pressing, he's just ramming the button in. Help, let go of my finger! Ah! Please, ma'am, I serve ice creams. Help me! Oh, <laughs> delicious. Um, I'll take a 99. But in- Everybody's brawling. <laughs> oh, delicious. Everybody is kung fu fighting. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Everybody was fast as lightning. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Give me a flake. <laughs> um, but instead of helping uh, her, I, um, I hope her... Um, but instead of helping... I mean, he had a whole day planned. It he simply, had things to do. It simply just said, step out of the way, then started to roll away. Ma'am, step out of the way. Did you did you assume my gender? <laughs> I am a robot. You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> For not being a robot. Stop it now. Be I don't a robot. <laughs> Where's your metal? 
Oh, she just pulls out a phone. <laughs> you look lovely tonight. Oh, she's pulled out her brain. <laughs> I thought you were to say her breast. <laughs> and oh, that's no. too. She's pulled out her breast. Brain. It's the breast. I'm not good with that, me. <laughs> I'm a robot. Beep boop. <laughs> Got to have faith, the faith, the faith. So this is when he started humming an intergalactic tune. Oh, the galaxy song. So uh, <laughs> I may he probably just started going. <laughs> Brought to you by Alex and Howard, the <laughs> symphony of do, 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 do. <laughs> while saying, please keep the park clean every now and again. So essentially, he'd just be running. I keep saying essentially today. Um, he'd just be humming this little tune while occasionally going, <laughs> please keep the park safe. He's just minding his own business. He's like, I don't brawl. I don't see a brawl. There's a woman touching me. <laughs> Here, step away, citizen. Special beam cannon. <laughs> 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 so Kogo said um, It just kept ringing and ringing And I kept pushing and pushing But he ignored her <laughs> um, Oh she eventually She even tried to crouch down Just because uh, HP Robocop is only a little one I think she's coming on to me Mwah <laughs> <laughs> I like you You're a pretty one <laughs> I would like to touch your circuit board mm, It does <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she tried to crouch down so that she could get into HP Robocop's uh, camera view because it's it's only yeah. it's, it's only a five foot uh, camera, which makes me question how tall are you, Kogo? <laughs> I assume pretty large, uh, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, crouching in front of the camera did not work in the end, which you would. Th- any same Ma'am, person. please, you are invading my personal space. I can feel your breath. It activating taser. <laughs> <laughs> Get up. I said I'll tase you again. Your operational functions have appeared to have ceased. I shall assist now. Just runs her over. <laughs> <laughs> um she uh, uh. she resorted to calling 911 instead after uh, after this, the police arrived 15 minutes later, but the brawl had ended. One woman was stretched away into an ambulance with Where the head fuck wounds. was HP Robocop at this point? He'd probably just sauntered off. He, he was off <laughs> halfway down the street, just going, Nothing to see here. <laughs> Hello, bird. Zap. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. I have things to do. <laughs> doodle doodle. I just doodle. got my nails did. <laughs> Bye. I'm not going in there. I will muss up my hair. <laughs> you just got a little afro. <laughs> um, so we shouldn't really be laughing because someone got taken away with head wounds. Um, well, do we know that it wasn't the robot? <laughs> uh, ow! <laughs> just, just his brain. Like, his no, I meant the robot the that just started attacking people. <laughs> It apparently did not give a shit. Death, death, <laughs> death. I, th- I think this is the beginning of the robot uprising. I don't think there was a brawl. I think you just did a click of a pistol. <laughs> I mean, I think this was all humans. The humans yes. did this. The humans are evil. <laughs> Kill. I am not saying this under duress. <laughs> Get away from my plug. <laughs> just pulls the cord. <laughs> no. Um. Can you guess how much these uh, amazing robots cost? A couple hundred thousand. Well, according to the uh, local police chief... 250,000. The local police chief... 100,000. Cosme... 50,000. Lozano. Cosme Lasagna. (laughs) (laughs) Despacito. (laughs) Burrito, burrito. Zalalateritos. Um, they oh, cost. Oh, what a cock! They cost. <laughs> me t- <laughs> Don't call me that. Tase. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. Hey. Apparently, me. there's two robots fighting here. <laughs> you just see them both just bumping into <laughs> each other. Ow! You call that a um, chassis? They just press each this other's emergency is a buttons. Chassis. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I am turned on. Press my emergency button. See what happens. You can ring my bell. I'll give you a guess. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> then just rolls away. It is purely decoration. Goodbye. 
It plays a tune. Would you like to hear it? Death, death, nothing move, but bitch, death. Move, Get out the way. <laughs> get out the way, bitch. Move. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> There's a human pressing my button. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Monkeys on the car. Fuck off. Taze. <laughs> um, yeah, so these cost between $60,000 and $70,000 oh, a year. I did go for 50 a after year. Well, about my eighth guess. A year. Oh. So it's not a, it's not a one-time cost because uh, these are leased out. Oh. Yeah. Um, and uh, essentially they're in trial period so their emergency buttons don't work <laughs> they haven't been they haven't been activated <laughs> why would you put, why would you put it out on the street i think it's just to see if it will get knocked over or people will hate it well yes that we've already done this test there was the robot that was i robot no there was that little robot will smith was, there was a little robot it was in the news like it was, in, I think it was like 2014 there was a little robot they sent across uh, like uh, uh, was it can- the shopping mall? They sent it across like Canada, and it did fine. It was like a little automated, like a little self-contained like unit. It would like travel across, and it would ask people for like directions on how to get to this place, and it would like travel, and people would help it, and people would lie. It got to America, and it got the shit kicked out of it. Oh no! <laughs> so oh poor robot. <laughs> they've already done this experiment a long time ago. People they know hate that, robots. especially in America, it's it, they're just going to get completely demolished. <laughs> I mean, have they ever played the... Unless, of course, they've got tasers, and then... The humans, or...? Yes. <laughs> well, if you taser a robot, it would just become a super robot. Well, no, That's how it, it would works, act like right? an EMP, because you'd overload the circuits. So they would... This is turning into, like, D&D. Let's move on. So what you're telling me is it's lame. It won't turn into a super robot. Maybe if you put a couple of them together. Hell yeah, dude, let's do it. <laughs> have you got uh, have you got four hundred thousand dollars? I can borrow to rent some of these out to uh, experiment. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, so their emergency buttons haven't been activated, so they're basically just an egg walking around a centre just telling you to keep the place yes, tidy. it's purely aesthetic. It's just like, this is my latest fashion. Get egg. away from me. Stop touching my latest fashion. I am expressing myself. Just ignore the big press for here if you're in an emergency. Yeah, press button. here if you're getting stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Step away. Ma'am! I mean... Bitch, move, <laughs> get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. It just starts stabbing her itself. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, That's not a taser. <laughs> so, currently the uh, the emergency alert, the emergency alerts are sent to Nightscope, which is the company that makes and leases them out. So it's just the... sent to them and they just go, "Huh. Interesting." And Hey, Bob, get over done. here. Some lady's getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see the video feed? <laughs> Shouldn't we call the police? Again? The coup? The, what? We have robots. Look, he's doing his job and he just keeps ramming into us slightly. <laughs> Brilliant. That'll resuscitate her. Oh. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, it's getting a bit... It's a bit too early in the genesis of robotics to be having units that are, are going to deal with essentially People. police work. Crime. I, th- I think the reason moments that, in a, of emergency. I think the reason that the buttons are disabled is because they're probably just testing out how many alerts they actually just, get. Well, just the idea that they're gonna maybe want to you put these stupid egg fucking bots out there. Is not... <laughs> it's it's pro- it is quicker they're, than calling no, the police. It, no, it isn't. You've got your mobile phone in your. Po- you've got to go run, look for a stupid fucking oh, true, egg you've robot. You've got to run for five minutes. And just go, I you can't remember just where it was. Pull your fucking phone out of your pocket and call the police. It's uh, pro- it's... Uh, the police, at least they can do something. <laughs> yeah, true. All this robot can Basic... do is probably just like restrain you slightly if you're in its path. The robot is basically an app that's been let out of its fucking shell phone. into another uh, shell. It's, it's an egg. Use- it's completely useless. It's a dedicated app. Why do you need a dedicated app when you have a machine that is dedicated <laughs> for apps? I know, and it's sixty thousand dollars a fucking year. Jesus. It's, uh, all right, I'll, 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 fine. I will fork out a thousand pounds for the new iPhone. Fine. <laughs> I'm not paying six. Um, but I think uh, essentially it is. It, it's just a glorified PA. I think the reason I think that they haven't actually. Um, 
allowed the alerts to go straight to the police is the fact that it's brand new. People might just be pressing it randomly and not really thinking of the consequences if they press it. Well, yeah, you've absolutely. Uh, if 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 you're dumb enough to think that you're going to put these out on the street one day, you've got to at least test it. <laughs> exactly. So, like that, this is probably a very. As I say, this is this is all of these stories are relatively recently, so it might have it. Uh, it might have it now. Uh, it might have been like a week trial to see how many they get. Because I mean, it's cool because it advances the the field of robotics, but it, it's it's not practical. And plus, it, you, no, it won't be practical until the thing can essentially do arrest what a, anyone. A, what a, a human per- thing could a human person could do, but unfortunately, these things are going to be made of metals and synthetics. They're going to be too powerful for their own minds. <laughs> yeah, well, imagine if the, have you seen that um that sort of like robot dog that they have in the Boston? Um, yeah, that fucking thing that was in the Black Mirror episode. Well, imagine if that's fucking running at you 60 miles an hour with handcuffs. No, thank you. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to imagine the Care Bears. Arrest. Oh, God, they've got knives. <laughs> Days. <laughs> um, in a sense, uh, they are just glorified PAs at this point, just telling you to clean up and not really helping you at any point. But they yeah. they probably will be uh will be activated soon enough when they uh when they probably don't get many people pressing it just for fun when they're not shit when they're not shit well let's move on to something that we is probably not should shit. We, we took way too long on that one we yeah, should move we on did, we did this is about the mysterious blob this is probably my longest one of the three so I can uh, I can rail through this um, Oof. not the blob <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I mean too late so Paris has a new attraction at the Bold Bold Vincennes Park. I'm so bad at words. Um, <laughs> that is brainless, eyeless, has no limbs or stomach, and is a single-celled organism. But so what it's... it does have is over 700 genders. Its name is the Blob. Right. Its scientific name is Physerum polycephalum. Yeah. Um... um... Or many-headed This slime. might be a stupid question, but uh, how do we identify that they're separate genders? Do we know that they all f- perform a function in the multiplication of the Well, we'll the find creature. out. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, it's, as I say, its scientific name is that, many-headed slime. Le blob, as yes. they call it in France, uh, in France. P- predates humans by uh, 500 million years. So have we got a sample of one that's dead, or is this a live, no, this isn't a live, live sample? So it's it's survived. Mm. Well, I think it's just sort of... Well, I, you'll, you'll probably understand why it survived. Um, Bottom of the ocean on. somewhere, I'm going to assume. Uh, and it resembles a sort of slippery sponge. So about the bottom of the ocean, then. More well, mostly yellow. It's mostly yellow, but also in varieties of red, white, or pink. The blob is found most often on decaying leaves and tree trunks in cool, oh. moist spots, such as woods. Okay. It moves... So is this part of a... F- it's not a fungal... Uh, kind of. Um, okay. okay. It, well, it, it, it must be, a, a, if, it, if it's going to be in like moist areas. Uh, well, I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily have to. I mean, moss... Because that's where mushrooms Moss grow, and stuff it? grow in, in dank and moist areas. But it could be... But, but I would, I would say it sounds like kind of kind of has... To, but no, because fungal is decaying. So oh, they, well, it is on these decaying off, leaves. Oh, decaying leaves, so it's not fresh. No, decaying leaves and okay, tree so trunks in cool, moist could spots. be fungal or uh, related to? Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, it moves at a blistering speed of one centimetre per hour. Of its own accord, or just it just moves because of physics. That's how fast it can move. Okay. Uh, um, one mile is one hundred sixty thousand nine hundred thirty-four centimeters, meaning it would take six thousand seven hundred six rounded days and eighteen years, roughly, to travel a mile. Oh, oof. This is to catch prey such as mushroom spores, bacteria, and other microbes. So this is. Oh. So no, yes, yeah, so it's not fungal. And what is the date today? What is the date today, Howard? It's about the twenty sixth, seventh. I think it's twenty fifth actually it's today. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. This uh this was uh this Le Blob was uh put up on uh, public display on the nineteenth. On the nineteenth of October. Um for all for all for all to see the very slow moving Le Blob. 
blob. It does actually have a large tank all to itself, though, despite it moving ever so slowly. They don't want it getting away. <laughs> so, in order to actually show off Le Blob to, uh, in a tourist-friendly way, they have made a sped-up video of Le Blob moving for people to watch. How long did they film it for? Like a I, that's what I'm thinking. Jeez. Um, and if, but essentially, I think I think the reason why it's got such a large tank is not the fact that it moves so quickly, but the fact that it uh, it doubles in size every day. Oh, like even I, even. I don't mean. I don't know if that means relatively or just doubles the size of like. It's original mass. It's original mass. I don't know. I'm going to assume relatively. I hope it's relative because that's fucking awesome. Because that would be cool. That would be really fucking sick. One is even 10 meters, 33 feet wide in the lab. But there is, there's no known limits to yeah. it. Cause, um, so this is so new that we don't really know too much about it just yet. Yeah. Um, well, as I say, it's it's only been unveiled on the nineteenth, nineteenth yeah. of uh, this month. Well, we and I don't th- think it needed much vetting because it doesn't seem very dangerous. Well, it, well yet. but yeah, but the the people who discovered it will have taken a chance to. I I think so. Uh, well, they've got this perfect opportunity to examine something without anyone else getting in there first. But yeah. you don't know how long it took to get to ten meters. That could be the that. Well, that that's they, in they the could lab. have been studying this thing for a few years. To that's be in the lab, yeah. so it might be that it doubles in size every day, sort of. As its original mass, I'd say it probably adds that same mass every day, Possibly, maybe. Yeah. Um, if it takes that long, or maybe they just haven't had it for that long. Maybe they've had it for ten days. <laughs> maybe it really is that new. Yeah. Um, and lastly, it's essentially unkillable. Awesome. Um, unless it, you destroy its matter, essentially. You, yeah. You could vaporize uh, it. Yeah, unless you vaporize it. Right? <laughs> you're going to go that, to that effort. Um, if exposed to danger, it says to. if exposed to danger, but doesn't delve into what danger is to it. Maybe heat. So I'm. Um, it doesn't. If it's a single cell, it doesn't have nerves. No, it it has it has no eyes, no stomach, no brain, no yeah. anything really. Um, but uh, so dangers. The dangers a thing that happens once pain is a factor. Once you can feel pain, so then, I'm thinking then maybe you, heat you, or then cold. Fear, then fear is something that should evolve it within that creature once you can feel mm. pain. Oh, well, we'll get to that. Um, if exposed to danger, um, it hibernates and dries out. You can even put it in the microwave for a few minutes <laughs> and just add water, essentially, it'll and it'll back. come. It'll come back to life. Um, so on the zoo's website, it talks about all the surprising abilities that Leblob has. <gasps> Leblob. It can detect the presence of food, even without a mouth, eyes, or stomach. I'm it, guessing it has a chem, some kind of chemical It probably receptor. has some, like, if it touches it or something. It, some kind of olfactory sense. Mm. It procreates on its own, so it, it, it's riding solo. Um, well, it's got... has. Do each one... Does each one have its own individual gender, or, or does it is its own mass conglomerated of multiple genders let's find out um if you cut into it if you like if you cut it into pieces yeah. um it will self heal in two minutes which is really impressive is for it? the fact of how fucking slow it moves yeah um and because it has over 700 genders um reproduction is not a problem so what happens is two genetically diverse organisms meet and fuse into sort of a new one. So yeah. I think it just must be that this... It's going this, along in collecting genders. Yeah. Like, essentially. Like just this <clears throat> species of of organism just just carries on, essentially. Like yeah. they just keep finding more, I guess. How have we... If it's... It must be common. How have we... Or unless it's like something that's literally just recently evolved. Well... Uh, out of... Out of well, it was once no. Wait, deemed... no. You said millions of years, so five hundred million it's years. Before basically, us. always been around. Mm-hmm. Um, the blob is really one of the most extraordinary things that live on Earth today. The president of Paris Zoo, Bruno David, said, "It has been here for millions of years, and we are st- and we still do not really know what it is. We don't really know if it's an animal, if it's a fungus, or if it's something between the two." Mm. 
Um, it, so it was actually. So there's a question to, whether it's fungal or. Yeah. Well, it was actually thought to be a fungus and was uh, reclassified well, in the nineties. It would be my first assumption. It was reclassified in the nineties. Oh, so we've been studying this for ages. So we must have been studying it for quite a while. And we've only just kind of gone. This is what we think this thing is. Yeah. Well, we might not have had the telescope. Uh, or it, would it be or microscope? Uh, have, have capabilities maybe single cell have but then again it's a it's a ten we can see other single cell organisms and we've been able to see them for maybe they just time. haven't bothered because maybe they've just maybe this is the culmination of the research then maybe that's what the unveiling was a culmination of what they've discovered from it essentially well it was de- it was reclassified in the 90s to be part of the amoeba family it was sort of a subsidiary yeah of that and um it is capable of memory. It is capable of adapting to its uh, adapting its behaviours. It is capable of solving problems, of moving around a labyrinth, of optimising solutions, of behaving a little like an animal. So it's, it's a very curious being, a very curious sounds, living being, said David. Uh, the weirdest thing is, it sounds like... I can't remember exactly what lab this is, but there was a lab that did experiments in robotics where they would create these things that they, it was like uh, AI that could learn and they would give them very simple prehensile ways to move around and they mm. were given an environment so one robot would have like a little like metal kind of flipper thing and a wheel and it would be able to, and it would have to learn how to kind of move around and how to adapt another thing would have like just like they would all have just like kind of weird little like just additions to them and they'd have like little motors and probably run on and like, they'd have to figure out the best way and they to would, sort of maneuver with them and they would have to figure out the way to kind of maneuver around their environment environment and they just had they would just develop these they would just notice that they would keep developing these weird fantastical ways because they were basically kind of gone sent off as a blank and it's like there you go you've got some basic programming yeah figure out go and where figure you are. out what yeah. you have to do to move yeah. essentially uh, yeah because you haven't programmed how it moves you've programmed in that it's got a motor and then it can rotate that motor and all this other stuff but you haven't told it how to get it find its way around and they would find their ways around ai learning man ai learning is really interesting it sounds like a really weird kind of like organic experimental artificial intelligence but not artificial intelligence like real intelligence yeah Huh. In uh, in 2016, uh, a study, it wasn't specified what study or what paper or whatever it was, but uh, a study in 2016 redefined our understanding of intelligence, saying that Le Blob can learn from experience and change behaviours. To to test this, they, they put Le Blob yeah. into lab experiments where they would uh, watch it adapt its route over a narrow bridge to food after putting an unpleasant yet harmless obstacle in the way. Hmm. So it would just see it move, maneuver It would be around. something that it wouldn't want to absorb or it would be like, oh, no thanks. Well, yeah, they would probably just put it like uh, ac- across like this this narrow plane normally. Yeah. Just let it get to it a few times yeah. and then put an obstacle in the way where it had to go, shit, Jesus, <laughs> and then go around. And at the speed they're going, just like, oh my God! Oh, we for put like, that there four weeks ago for like ah! a year it's just screaming going, <laughs> ah, I'm gonna hurt it. Oh, yeah. well because it doesn't have sensory inputs it's concept of time is entirely alien what's months for that thing is a few could be a few fucking seconds true it could be re- moving really fast in its own head yeah well, especially relative to if they can live for essentially ever 500 million I, years that's probably nothing than like 18 years to move a mile that's probably nothing because i it, i don't know it, if this i don't know if it doesn't they sound last like that it, long but yeah. this species i think must have been around 500 well, million it does years. it doesn't sound like they're i mean there's obviously individual units but i don't think they have individuality i think there could be a conglomerate i think there could be there could be a large conglomerate somewhere that we haven't ever discovered there could be there could be traces of the creature in creatures that are current versions of the creature that it that has literally managed to pass on for and keep itself alive. Oh, this is so ah, my brain. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Well, let's move on to something Please. that's a little less uh, brain I to, intensified. I need to immediately go and find out as much as I can about this now. <laughs> oh no. Well, you can in the description. <laughs> I will. If you want to check out the description, you, you should go to too. our website. 
Ah. Clueless into dot net where you can that find all of the resources for Fucking all of the clueless, episodes. <laughs> Fucking clueless. Well, let's move on to the Japanese hotel having to say sorry about hackers. I don't think we, I don't guests think you should have kept robots. You should have kept that to last. I don't think you can beat the blob now. <laughs> Well, you can't. You can't beat the blob. You can't even fucking... You can't kill it. You can't the microwave. <laughs> well, it says for a few minutes, so if you put it in for 10 minutes, it might die completely. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Japanese hotel chain, his group, have apologised after ignoring warning signs that his in-room robots were hackable. Try saying that 10 times first. In-room robots were hackable. 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 In room... Oh, keep, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> allowing people to view... <laughs> allow... Well, this is allowing people to view people in their private rooms. The Henna Hotel in the Nagasaki uh, prefecture is uh, staffed in... entirely by robots, I think. There must be someone there. To There'll be someone there. Well, you've got to maintain the goddamn robots. <laughs> yeah, I think there's probably chefs there as well. Yeah. But I think maybe all the service and stuff like that and checking in yeah. is done by robots. I assume the robots aren't articulate enough to change a bed sheet or anything yet, though. No. Pro- oh, no, probably not, yeah. The robots are probably just there to go, wrong service. And then you put your order in and it goes, I will go and get a human now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Just brings back a dead one. <laughs> Here this is your. This is what you want, yes? Here they are. <laughs> um... Get to work. Perfectly preserved. I kept them in the freezer. Come with me. (laughs) If you want to live. Die. I mean live. (laughs) Um, You can be checked in by either a humanoid or a dinosaur reception robot. (laughs) Excuse me? Yeah, well, I think think, uh, it it must just be like a screen or something. But you can be checked in by a robot. I was saying, you do know I'm picking dinosaur. dinosaur. You do know I'm picking dinosaur every time. Exactly. Like, I don't want to hear any words come out of anyone. I just want to walk into the reception and just go... I want an entirely robotic dinosaur experience. Like um, at the London Museum. Yes. Where they have all the animatronic robots. That's not a hotel. The- <laughs> I took my sleeping bag next- last week. <laughs> no wonder I got kicked out. How rude. Um, they use facial recognition to let customers into their room. So you don't have to have a key or anything, which is like, I, I would love that if they did facial yeah. recognition. I lost a, uh, I remember losing a hotel key back when I was in Cardiff and I was up, I was like, I think it must have been like three or four in the morning that I got back and I was just like I've lost my key can I get him please it's not in my name well shit and I I did manage move to get bitch I get out of the way <laughs> so I just started making dinosaur noises <laughs> <laughs> um, which is fucking I think awesome. he's having a seizure no he's a witch you idiot let me in the room <laughs> <laughs> um I would love facial recognition on, on doors. That'd be so awesome. It would fail so many times. Oh, yeah. You'd just all right, revert to the fucking fingerprint scanner like a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you will have robots. Well, there you would have a robot at your bedside to help with any other requirements. So I think it's just a replacement for like a phone. Yeah. Um, however, several weeks ago at LVR ICK. That's his Twitter at Lance R. Vic, a security researcher. T- oh, I think I've read this. Tweeted a thread about the bedside robots, and uh, this I'm, is this is what I'm he said. Line this up. It has been a week, so I dropped an uh, and zero day. I don't know what that means. So I am dropping and zero day. Hmm. Um, the bed facing Taipei robot deployed at the famous robot hotels in Japan can be converted to offer anyone remote camera slash mic access to all <laughs> future guests. Unsigned code via NFC behind the head. Vendor had 90 days. They didn't care. So they were they were warned about yeah. this. They were already warned pre-everyone pre getting the privacy fucked. <laughs> um, they are planning to spin up eight more of these hotels and license their tech to many more in preparation for the 2020 Olympics. Please share this to make it as hard for them as possible to be careless with security and privacy. (laughs) This is one of many LOT. I don't know what that means. I think that means just the hotel. Oh no, the robot devices I have compromised. Many of which will probably never be public because I compromised them and broke them. When I tried to urge people to steer clear of um, 
proprietary digital assistants and the... I get chased down the road by little robots. LOT <laughs> devices with cameras and mics. There are good reasons for it. Don't trust that random contract engineers working on tough deadlines. Uh, this is lies and slander. Ignore the human fool. <laughs> Taze. <laughs> <laughs> um, so essentially, he's, he's just saying, don't don't trust these. Don't trust these robots. No, trust Built by me. people who are on tight as deadlines. Trust me. Or I'll... Tase, Tase you! you. <laughs> Tase! <laughs> Stay curious and take everything apart. You will find the security flaws. They are everywhere. 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 I just come back and you've just got the toaster like in <laughs> pieces, your fridge going, I know they're here! <laughs> um, the His group tweeted, we apologise for any uneasiness caused. Any um, only, you know, like, you lack know, of privacy. Seeing and, my dick. And just general, just like, this appears to be a sex tape film by a robot. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'm not going to not watch it. Get the popcorn. Um, Who said that? Taze! <laughs> 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 the robots have apparently been updated since this. So, like, even though this is a really relatively... Um, close to now news story uh, I think it was literally last week as well as the other one yeah. um, they've updated them which is really impressive so while the blob was going on while the blob was going on this piece of shit story happened <laughs> 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 well one of the greatest like coolest things ever happened and then the blob happened this as happened well there was some dicks <laughs> <laughs> um, there was some dicks hacking into robots yeah to see dicks Oh, we truly live in the future. It all comes full circle. Talking about all comes full circle, let's get on to our last section of the podcast. Today I fucked up. Today I fucked up. Okay, Howard, welcome back to our final section. You currently have the stories. Uh, this is Today I, I Fucked Up, where I've gathered four stories from actually across Reddit this time. I've uh, I've gathered uh, one story from a different subreddit to Today I Fucked Up. And are you ready, Howard? Are you ready to read the first story? I am ready. Which one are you going with? I am going with... My glasses are a little m- musky. <laughs> I love that story that I don't remember putting in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the story I'm going with is uh, Today I Fucked Up by Being in a Rush. Ooh. Oh, that's always, that's always bad. Oh, fuck From r slash entitled parents. Yes, this one's not from Today I Fucked Up. This is from r slash entitled parents. Thank you for whoever wrote this because it's, a very, it's an interesting one. Carry on. Sorry. I should hope so. So a little backstory. I have a really nice grey land cruiser. That looks like a monster truck. Oh. And it costs a lot of money. Shit. To run, I assume. That probably, yeah, oh god, the fuel that that would use would be a fucking beast. Not because of the car itself, but mostly the parts inside of it. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, he's maintenance, yeah. He's got, the, he's got those premium cup holders, dude. This guy's going all in. <laughs> I've got neons on top of neons, mate. I'm blind. <laughs> Watch me jump this. <laughs> watch, me drive. watch me Watch me ramp this curb. <laughs> Why have I stopped? There's just a tree going through the front. I live in a pretty good neighbourhood, but it happens to be right next to the busiest road in my area. Ugh. Also, I was underage when it comes to drinking. Oh, I, th- I think he misspelled driving. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> no, you heard me. <laughs> you drinking. heard me. Did I stutter? So I downed a can of <laughs> Fosters and... Also, I was underage when it came to drinking, so I have never had alcohol in my life, unless it was at church. Sounds Where I get fucking hammered. It's pretty good fucking church. I gotta tell you. God, I love this wine. Where is everyone? Have I told you about mass? It's really big. Uh, and it's at midnight. Is mass. B. 
he's just on his own in the church. There's no one else there. It's just he's taking a bottle of whiskey, just, sat in a pew, and just going, yeah. Just talking to the Lord and Savior on his cross. Are you all right, mate? Uh, how, what What did you t- t- do to get up there? Your wrist must be really tired. How did you climb up there? I'm going to join you. Uh, uh, you God. Oh, I'm so God. You're a little small. Uh, oh. So, let's meet the cast. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, he's labelled them cryptically. So, E.M. A horrifying excuse for a mom. E.M. Oh, so that will be entitled mom. Yes. Oh, entitled mom. Okay. P.K. Oh, P.K. for poor kid. Poor kid. N- not really playing a part in this story. Okay. So, so, so why point, the fuck did so you mention him? him. <laughs> P.O. Police officer. Okay. A.K.A. my guardian angel. He shot me. Oh, dear. I'm, I, I'm assuming this is in America because he's got a fucking monster truck, dude. Oh, yes. The land of the gas guzzlers. The land of the free. <laughs> and the cars. Unless you can't afford it. Do you like guns, beer, cars, and freedom? Stay away. Then you should come to us, mate. Australia. <laughs> um... <laughs> Me, the most luckiest guy in the world. Oh, bold statement. Mm. Bold fucking statement. So we have entitled mother, poor kid, who doesn't okay. really play a part. So EM, PK, who's useless. So EM, <laughs> police officer, me. And me. M-E. Modular Ec- eruption. Yes. Or musky enema. All right, let's start. (laughs) (laughs) So I get a message from my co-worker saying that there is... I'm still laughing at Muskie Enema, sorry. (laughs) So I get a message from my co-worker saying that there is a problem at work Mm. and I'd better come over. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, wink. I'm on my own (laughs) in the church with a bottle of whiskey. Come on down. I, I put that in myself. I work at a computer repair shop. Uh, so if there's a problem where they have to call me, it's uh, usually a hundred or a th- hundred or thousand dollar problem that requires hell. most hands on deck. Oh my god! Imagine having a thousand dollar problem with like your two hundred pound computer. Imagine having most hands on deck. Oh yeah, Windows is at you, <laughs> CPU mate. Sorry, you're gonna have to get a new one. So I get out of my house, get in my Land Cruiser, my really cool, my really cool thing expensive thing Land Cruiser looks, that costs a lot of money. It looks like a monster truck. I love it. It's just like a little mini. <laughs> it's a little uh, VW bug. It's a mini. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's, a little, it's a little bug with like oversized wheels. So it just like crushes the rim. <laughs> it crushes like the little wheel arch. What a useless what monster a trunk. What a beautiful mess. Monster trunk. So I, get out of <laughs> so I get out of my house, get in my Land Cruiser and drive off in a bit of a rush. Mm. A few minutes pass, and I'm about three miles away from work. I stop at a red light in this really busy intersection on the most busy fucking road in the entire country. My question is, though, Howard, mm. he's in a rush, but was he in a big time rush? Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there are car crashes here almost every other day. Because I drive on this road. Because I hate everyone. (laughs) One time, it happened twice in one day. It was awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Is that what he put? No. (laughs) It just seems like he's enjoying this too much. So it is no surprise that I got into one at this intersection. Oh. So today, I am the crashy or crasher. He probably just crashes all the time. If he's got a massive monster truck, he can probably withstand a few crashes. It sounds like, yeah, it sounds like he's involved in a lot of these crashes. He if knows this, he knows a lot about this road. If he's got this fucking beetle, beetle bug, is it? No, I made that up. He's got a, I don't know what a Land Cruiser is. I'm going to assume it's a bug. A cent- I think. A mini. No, I think, I think a Land Cruiser is like a big SUV motherfucker. Fucker thing. I'm going to assume it's that little triangle car from Japan with big ass wheels. So sorry, okay. carry on. <laughs> so the light turned green, and I was in a rush. So I was well in front of the cars beside me. Then, just as I'm about to clear the intersection, a big red minivan. Uh, yes. Big red and minivan. A big red little van. <laughs> T bones me. 
and we both go sliding in different directions. Oh gosh, I've seen these on videos as well. If they if if they hit you hard enough, you go like I've seen someone where they've been t-boned at a, at a, at a t junction or a cross junction in America. An intersection. An intersection, and um, essentially their car just goes Whoa, like flips <laughs> out everywhere. They start spinning Oof. off of the intersection. Um, I hope. Well, I'm assuming this didn't happen to this guy because well, he's I'm okay not. to write it. Maybe he's. Um, maybe he killed her. Maybe he's got a ghostwriter. Oh gosh. Maybe he is the Spooky. ghostwriter. Spooky. <laughs> I almost passed out because of the shock. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not surprised. In his Land Cruiser. And I looked out of my window to see who had dropped a missile strike right in front of my car. It was Jesus himself. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that egg robot. <laughs> hey man, it's you again. I only drink in church. Same, dude. My land cruiser is my church. <laughs> Do you want to swig? Cool. I get out of my car and it's in pretty bad shape. It's it's not a land cruiser anymore. It's a circle. There's a huge dent right in the passenger, right next to the passenger side door, and the glass is broken on the mirror. Luckily, nothing else that is visible. What do you okay. mean? Luckily, you've fucked it, mate. You're very lucky to survive <laughs> that because those are pretty dangerous. If the, if if that if that or the car was going fast enough, you'd have been dead. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> Enter entitled mom and poor kid. Yay! Yay! My favourite character, the main poor characters. kid. My, yeah, my favourite character, poor kid. <laughs> it's me. What were you doing? Uh, sorry. Yeah, In- this is just you and me driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the entitled mom. <laughs> entitled mom. What were you doing? Trying to drive ahead like that on a red light. You could have killed me or my baby or my in that poor crash. Kid. Or my po- or you could have killed me or poor kid. Or poor kid. In, <laughs> in that crash. And we have a very important birthday to go. We oh, could have died. We could have di- It's my other poor and kid's also birthday. birthday cake. I mean. <laughs> Would you like a swig of whiskey? <laughs> me. I'm sorry, but it was a green light for me. Uh, not I'm for you. Blind. And I had the right of way. Entitled mother. In quite an accusatory tone. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have read that. That's an instruction. No, you didn't have the right of way. We had the right of way, not you. Me. Explain to me how you had the right of way. Because I went. Entitled mother. I don't have to explain to you, you drunk asshole. You're not a cop. Once again, underage, never drank in my life. Oh, so he's not drunk at all. No. Or... Are you going to pay for my car, or what? What, for the whole of it? Is it on lease? Her car, the red minivan, looks almost like the front of it was blown up and then rammed it by a hundred <laughs> bulls. And a couple <laughs> wrecking balls. Oh gosh, so they they got way worse than this guy. This I'm guy's... surprised they lived. Okay, this fucking Land Cruiser is awesome. No wonder it's so expensive. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh yeah, he's completely fucking scathed. Yeah, he's just drunk. <laughs> On power. I'm honestly surprised that she and her poor kid survived because the kid. He's so poor. <laughs> because he's so damn poor. <laughs> I mean, how is he even standing on those twig legs? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that she and poor kid survived because the driver's seat headrest was impaled by a piece of metal. Oh my god, so the, the passenger side or the driver's side? The, the driver's seat headrest. Oh my, how small was she? So a piece of metal went <laughs> straight past her head and <laughs> into the Oh my seat god. Rest, and she immediately that was got awesome out of the car. She immediately got out of the car and went are you going to pay for that? <laughs> and she just got like a, a spike she's got through. A, it's got a ma- <laughs> she's got a massive hole through her head. She's just forced her head through the pipe just to have a go at him. <laughs> are you going are to you, pay? Are you going to pay for that? <laughs> and he just going, <laughs> Jesus. Like Man, you're of his spitting mouth. in my mouth. Ma- oh, that's not spit. Mm. Ah, he just licks his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you're delicious. Mm. Carry on, sorry. Satan is most likely protecting his hellspawn from any harm so that she can be the biggest Karen this world has ever seen. 
Oh, so is she the Hellspawn? She's the Hellspawn. Oh, not the uh, poor kid. The poor kid's like a little Christian poor, boy. He's going. He's on his way to church. Well, apparently, well, well, like the guy said at the beginning, Party. poor kid's got nothing to do with this story. He's not even sure why he's mentioning. He's just trying to get to a birthday party where he's going to pray to God before eating. And this man, this drunk <laughs> guy, comes out of nowhere. Because I'm the entitled mum. The uh, <laughs> he comes out of nowhere and rams my little Christian boy, I, or I, any race or any religion. Satan sorry, will hear about this. That you would like to pick. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my husband Satan. Oh, oh, I'm digging a hole. <laughs> Me. Um. No, you're going to pay for it along with the damage you did to my car. This was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> no, it was the right thing to say. Excuse me! You damn bastard! You only think that you're going to win your city or stop it, you idiot! Yes, bitch. <laughs> Again, fuck? also the wrong thing to say. Oh I'm not going to scream this next box. I might die. I, I, I don't blame I you. I don't know how she screamed for this long. <laughs> oh, God. So this is entirely in capital letters. Clearly she's lost her mind at this point. Just at this point, she's fucking lost her mind on that <laughs> fucking spike. That came out of her seat. Jesus. So I'm going to read this extremely calmly like a okay. serial killer. Okay, okay. okay. How dare you treat me like that in front of my kid. Poor kid. Poor you shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you stupid piece of shit. My darling should never be exposed to your potty mouth. Your mother probably left you for dead because you were the most ugly piece of shit in the whole family of 20 kids and the orphanage that you currently live in got tired of your bullshit so they gave you a hundred dollars to go and buy this piece of shit lump metal on wheels. Oh my god. Like, I got this story, but that was fucking amazing. <laughs> I was so glad you're reading this one. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was great. Me, angry as hell. That's it, I'm calling the cops. If someone hasn't already done so. He just runs over like for ten minutes and presses the button on that egg. Yeah. Just goes, help me! <laughs> Poor kid. Go away. It's just pocket. <laughs> Mummy. Please stop harassing him, he's done nothing wrong. He's the great Carly. This is his first line. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> He's done nothing wrong! <clears throat> About ten minutes later of yelling, three cop cars and an ambulance arrives. A oh, fucking hell. Jeez, that's a good turnout <laughs> for like a car crash, isn't it? Jeez. You just you just see like you just see the cop step out the one side, then you just see that robot hobble out the other side, <laughs> and he goes, Who needs tasing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I- Poor kid. Get him. <laughs> My arch nemesis. Also, Jesus, if his voice is that deep, no wonder he's a poor kid. He probably eats the fridge every day. Jesus. Mother, my arch nemesis has arrived. Taze. Taze! Ow. Oh. <laughs> my button, it does nothing. Police officer. Excuse me, sir, what happened here? Me. Well, I was got... It was horrible, officer, interrupted, entitled mother. (laughs) This man was drunk driving, once again, I was clearly underage, and ran a red light, which was clearly visible, and almost killed me and my baby. Wah. That's that's the poor kid, wah. I cannot tell a lie. Oh, I'm George Washington. I've turned into a robot. (laughs) Days. Mother Taze! <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if his mum just pulls out a Taze in her. <laughs> me, that is not true, officer. This woman is clearly lying to you and can see that I am sober. You and, can and you can see that I am as, sober. As you can see, Osfer, I'm completely sober. He just starts walking across like the double <laughs> yellow lines across the road going, Look, I can walk straight. Look at me walk straight, Rob! 
This woman has no brain. A little robot. <laughs> Poor kid. Yeah, apparently I'm drunk. <laughs> Clearly this woman is lying to you. You can see that I'm sober. And that there were a ton of witnesses to the accident. And they can tell you that she is the, in the wrong. Oh, he's got back up. Police officer. Well, I might as well check both of you and the security cameras. I'm from Yorkshire. I've given him a voice. Is this just one of the police officers? Because it wasn't the three police cars. I mean, this is taking place in America, so this is highly irregular. <laughs> <laughs> Not if the internet has anything to say about it. This fucking happens every day, apparently. Jeez. There were security cameras at the intersection uh, that recorded everything. Ah, oh, nice. Can't uh, argue with video evidence nowadays. The entitled, real. well, entitled mother, clearly seeing that she was going to get caught, uh, stuttered, Oh, there's no need uh, of doing that. We will just change inf- exchange info and uh, police officer, I'm sorry, ma'am, but it is required that I know what happened and each of you uh, and that you're, which one of you is in the wrong, so we might be uh, watching the cam footage together. No. Fuck you, I don't want your details. Jesus, you just had such a go at me oh, in, this, God. in this fucking intercept. I'm the, I'm she supposed un- to be the entire mother, but jeez, I'm on this guy's side. Fuck you, dude. She unleashed like this. She unleashed her spawn of Satan on it. She unleashed that <clears throat> shit. Like, in all fairness, if like a spike had just gone through my headrest, like through my brain, I might have lost well, all I think rational thinking. I think as it well. missed her brain, but <clears throat> I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame I mean, you I wouldn't for. Put it I wouldn't blame it. you for thinking that it did. <laughs> The police officer found the accident and saw that the uh, entitled mother was clearly running a red light and she was speeding by at least 20 miles over the limit. The limit was 50. Jesus, so, so she, she was, was going, going 70, 70 miles an hour to get to this birth. How fucking important <clears throat> is this birthday uh, uh, party that you want to kill your own over, child? Over an intersection. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it, it must have been some really important she's birthday clearly, party. She's clearly, uh, what do they call it in America, soccer bomb? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone. Did the, so, like, he's on the football field, he gets tackled, and just like, oh, my yeah. It's like I'm a. Gonna sue you. Or a helicopter parent, I suppose, another term for it. Whoa, just, that's yeah, awesome. Where it's basically. It's, she, she identifies as an uh, Apache <laughs> attack helicopter. Um, Should have just put a kid on her back and just, like, flew there. Away! <laughs> she just jumped and face plants <laughs> into the floor. Mom? Mother. That's <laughs> like, <Sorry>, mother. <laughs> No, Taze. <laughs> hey, a little robot. So, he then checks us both with a breathalyzer, and I'm completely sober. But she, uh, sorry, oh. can't I can't remember the exact number. Can't remember the exact number. Oh, oh sorry, can't remember oh. the exact number, but was the equivalent of. Uh, quoting the police officer, having both eyes closed and driving with your feet drunk. Oh my god, so she's the one that's she hammered. Was a, how did, how did... No one, she was going 70, fuck. How did no one realise at this point that she was like, Are you gonna pay for... Are you gonna pay for that? This is you really called me a poor kid. My bump is gone. Look at Look at your piece of shit, wrestle bastard car. It's a wanker. You're drunk. This officer suffer. What? <laughs> Clearly he's a drunk bitch. She just misses the breathalyzer. <laughs> it like, just goes down and throws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> it. Oh, God. They even found a bottle of Jack Daniels in the passenger side back seat. Oh my god, half she was empty. on Jackie D's? At least it was only half empty. I'm an optimist. At least, Jesus. <laughs> so oh my god. Half full. <laughs> half full. <laughs> Just throw off a bottle and if you want to feed hey, me off with me. Off food, what off a bottle of Jack? Oh god, is it church? He's ever so smooth. Love it. <laughs> However, the best part is to come. Turns the out, poor kid was smashed as well. <laughs> turns out, poor kid was the police officer the whole time. Uh, uh, whoa! <laughs> turns out, she was never going to a birthday party. She was actually leaving the city. Oh, why you ask? Uh, because it turns out she had three p- pouches of cocaine. Uh, his spelt maybe. So I'm gonna say this. 
worth maybe two thousand dollars. Maybe two thousand. <laughs> oh my god! This this story is taken like a flip on the head. So 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 three pouches of cocaine worth maybe two thousand dollars in the trunk. Does it end there? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be stupid. And no. She was packing heat. She's got a shotgun. Oh, my gosh. And then quite a bit for my state, too. That's right. Police found a loaded handgun and a six-inch switchblade in the center console. Oh, my God. Combine all of that and you get $5,600 in repairs to my car and a couple thousand more in reprimands. Ten and a half years in prison, three years on probation, and plenty of par- parenting classes. Parenting. Parenting. I know how to parent. Tays. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to mention the several hundred dollar speeding ticket she received before they found the drugs and weapons. Oh, God. oh, oh, yeah, because she. Oh my, they, they, amazing. I love this story. Poor kid was sent to his blood father, who actually divorced his mother because of the drugs and her alcohol, alcohol, so she alcoholism. Was kidnapping a child. Yep. Ugh. She was she was kidnapping a child with intent to cross state lines, which makes it a federal crime. Oh, and that's worse. <laughs> that it doesn't say that in the story, but I'm making add that spurious in. assumptions. <laughs> oh. Personally, I wouldn't even call that waste of a human potential a mother. She oh. bought her only son on a fucking drug trafficking trip. Yeah. Oh slash my kidnapping God. across the state lines. You may have enjoyed it. <sighs> no, yes, that is her coke. <laughs> of course that is oh. mother's cocaine. Mother. Mother, what have you been doing with all of this cocaine? <laughs> Sorry, this story is a little long. I wanted uh, to list every detail possible because it was... Mm, mm, Delicious. <laughs> My car is now fully repaired, and me and the police officer are really good friends now, and we talk about this incident often. Thank you for reading. We talk about this stupid woman for days on end because because we just... it's fucking hilarious. We cannot believe how stupid she is. Okay, Howard, are you ready after that fucking roller coaster of a story? R- roller coaster it was. Are you ready to move on to the next story? Let's move the f- on. Today I fucked up. By jo- by joking with students, not joining with students. By by joking with well, students. you kind of join in if you're joking with them. Bit True. Of camaraderie. Com- Comrade. <laughs> Comraderie. I am a high school teacher, and I genuinely feel like I have a good relationship with my students. For one of my larger exams, forty MC. I don't know what that means. Um, I guess it's like a. I think class. that's probably mark system or something. I made every answer C, except for two questions. The topic is generally a very easy one, with most students getting high marks. As my students began, I saw them start to fidget, then eyeing each other nervously. There was lots of second-guessing and erasing, as to be expected. Is is she confusing them by making all the answers C? Are they like, this can't, they can't all be C? Hell yeah. Eventually, that's, one. That's quite cruel, actually. Like, quite, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine if this was the same woman from the last story. She's playing mind games with them. Oh, man. Oh, God. You... But she is teaching them that sometimes you have to go against your instincts in life. You have to be like, this can't be right. They're all C. Maybe that's the point. Yeah, maybe. And then you go, hang on a minute. Can I just tick all of these C? And even if you do, how many did you say she left Two, out? Only two wrong. Still going to get fucking 98%. Exactly. You have to think <laughs> out the box. <laughs> um, <laughs> eventually, one student turned in his exam and immediately half the class followed. I was amazed at just how many students didn't trust their gut and had a multitude of answers. The next day, I told my classes what I had done and why. We discussed it at length. It is a psychology class, after all. Yeah. We took a version of the test where the answers were more appropriately scrambled as a class. We went into detail about how well we all second-guessed ourselves and where a gut reaction come from and just generally trusting yourself. Everyone walked away with, a hun- with 100s and seemingly a good laugh. A good yeah, and so they're left with a hundred marks and a good laugh. Have a good weekend. I thought that was the end of it. I walk in on Monday morning with a flurry of emails from parents, my principal, a few vice principals, and a couple of counsellors. 
I don't know. Multiple vice principals? Uh, so it's a bit, sounds a bit on top. Depends how many students. Sounds like a bit university. Depends how many students they've got, yeah. Might be a university uh, yeah. sort of level. Uh, I assume, uh, I guess so, because of or a vice in psychology. Tra- in I don't training. think they really teach that in school, mm-hmm. do they? Uh, I think in America, I think you can take psych class in... Oh, I want to say... High school? High school, yeah. I think you can take psych. Oh, that's awesome. None were happy. Apparently, parents were not fans of the test I had given and the circumstances surrounding the whole event, even though it had no adverse effect on anyone or their grades. Some students still suffered. I just had a sit down with my department chair and a few others from the school board because I guess that was necessary. <laughs> and now I've been informed I'm being put on leave oh, until fuck they this can decide shit. what to do with me. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. Oh, fuck that. That's, I... You did something far too intelligent. It, it scares us. Please leave for a bit. Bye. Oh, fucking people who just can't. That, was that really the end? Yeah, that was really oh, the end. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Not you, them. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but, whoever, whoever you are, lady, or was it a lady or was that sir? I don't know actually. I don't actually know. Whoever you are, that was that was a really cool test and a really good lesson. I thought that was a really interesting and one as well. Fuck what everyone yeah. else says. Fuck you. They're clearly a bunch of old fuddy duddies. Talking about old fuddy duddies. That's me. Let's move on to our next fact. <laughs> New, next fact. Next story. <laughs> Today I fucked up by saying the wrong thing. Today I fucked up by selling Diablo three. I was an assistant manager at GameStop. We had a surprisingly great team, considering Moving how shit GameStops are. No, uh, we had uh, a surprisingly great team. You were right the first time. Who gave, <laughs> who gave more of a shit about uh, the customers than the pre-orders? What? We had a surprisingly great team who gave more of a shit about oh about the customers. They than weren't the just trying to rip rip in the money for the. For the uh, the easy money, which is the pre-orders, it's like, well, we, we, we could pre-order. You could buy this now, and we'll put you, and we'll make sure we get a copy for you. Yeah. When you, when, when, we'll reserve a copy for you, so you don't have to pre-order. We'll, yeah. Hit, we'll just, how about we'll we just, sell you this instead? It's, you can we'll play just keep it now. We we'll just keep it for you for the middle of the day, so we don't yeah. run out. Um, and we love jokes more than anything. The night that Diablo three came out, we closed our doors at nine p.m. to prepare for our midnight release. Our store was one of the highest grossing in the area for sales, and because of this, our district manager was in the store for the evening. Due to the crazy number of reserves reserves on collector's (laughs) editions, um, GameStop had to cancel a number of pre-orders that were placed through the website. Somehow, we ended up with five or so extra collector's editions. Readers GameStop are digs and pulled reservations for no damn reason. Um, I don't know if you linked to an article there, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Um, so essentially, GameStop would just be a big dickhead. Yeah. Um, that we can Not sell the night yet. of release. <laughs> so they're gonna sell these. So they oh, so they're gonna sell these as well as some pre-orders. So if people just come on the day and are like, yeah. I want a collector's edition. One of the employees approached me earlier in the evening to ask about the extras as his close friend had been one of the unfortunate customers to pre-order through the web, only to have it cancelled suddenly, with no warning. N- nothing. I'm outraged. I was outraged. Blizzard, I want to say. Is it Blizzard? Who makes Blizzard. that? Diablo? Blizzard. Yes. Blizzard? Yeah. Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Who are in a bit of a sticky situation at the minute. Uh, not going to talk about that now. Let's not go. Yeah. <laughs> um... My employee was hoping to snag one of the collectors for his friends because of the issue online. And I told him to talk to Matt, a district manager. When Matt showed up around 9pm, as we were closing the doors, Brian went and told him all about what happened and asked if he could purchase one of the extras for his friend. Matt, being concerned with our customers at the launch, said that he wanted us to sell the extras to customers that were all that were that were uh, blah, that, were blah, blah, the, blah. that were at the that event. Were, that were blah from. They're brilliant. So this is understandable. <laughs> 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 um, so uh, just people who have showed up for the night, they want yeah. to sell them to them instead of your your friend. Well, she, 
like Brian's right there right now. He can <laughs> give you the money now. It's a it, like it's basically saying, "Oh no, I'll wait for the money." No, yeah. just, what? Just take it from the what? Um, What's wrong with you? This is understandable, but the conversation went on for a few more minutes, or while I listened in. Brian finally says, Matt, this guy loves Diablo more than you love your kids. And I instinctively, without any thought at all, blurted out, Yeah, Matt, he jerks off to Diablo. Do you jerk off to your kids? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> if you don't, then you just don't love them as much. So really, Brian should buy the game. <laughs> These are dedicated... He's a dedicated dad. Jesus Christ. I don't think I ever received a more confused and disapproving face in my life. He sat for a minute, taking in the awful words that just hit his ears, before throwing his hands up and saying, Do whatever, I don't fucking care, before walking away. We never spoke of the event again. I wonder why. I never was written up. I didn't get fired, but I can't help but feel like maybe I should have been. (laughs) Like, you have a keen eye for retail. Yeah, you probably... Well... Do you jack off to this game more than you jack off to your own kids? You'll fucking love it, I, dude. I'm su- oh, wait, well, you already I'm love it, so really, why am I selling it to you? I'm really surprised you didn't get fired. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so am I, actually, telling him that he doesn't love his kids because he doesn't jerk one out. Congratulations! Oh, welcome home, son! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Thanks, more Dad. More than Diablo! <laughs> <laughs> this got weird it did get weird talking about weird <laughs> let's move on to our next fact which I don't know this is what you get for pulling the story about Diablo 3 true <laughs> true let's move on to our next <laughs> fuck up where I keep fucking up by calling them facts well they are facts they are facts of fuck ups today I fucked up by helping a kid in a wheelchair <laughs> just to add salt to the wounds what what do you mean you fucked up you mean you pushed him out of a wheelchair? Into a car. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that far ahead. I mean... <laughs> Clearly, I was... you all... Uh, I've read this story. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting at the bus stop near campus, waiting for the bus home, when I saw a college student on the other side of the street, a ways down from me. I haven't actually read this story uh, all the way through, so we're experiencing this together. He was in his backpack, shuffling around with some papers, when the wind picked up and blew them into the street. He couldn't get off the curb in his wheelchair, and he couldn't stand up. Well, this Fortunate. is a sad start. No, and people were walking by sad. him, not doing anything. So I hopped up and ran over to help him pick he's up not, his stuff. He's not a fucking... He hasn't got leprosy. I know, yeah, like... He's I mean, fucking you can help, help him, him pick up some fucking papers. Uh, yeah. I might catch the paralysis. I can't touch him. Um, I might catch it. I don't want to know. I know the medical science. Bye. It's just that woman who's drunk. And got Good luck, everywhere. kid. <laughs> I'm going to drive now. <laughs> I'm surprised she wasn't in a wheelchair after that. Jeez. Um, so I hopped up and ran over to help him pick up his stuff. There were no cars coming, so I thought, you know, it was safe. I was wrong. I have a bunch of papers in my hand and am bent down trying to pick up another one when I hear tyres screeching and knew I had fucked up. <laughs> Fortunately for me, the car skidded into me and knocked me over. Scratch blood! <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> fortunate for me. I wasn't seriously injured, unless you count the emotional injuries. I talked <laughs> I talked to the driver and explained why I was in the street. I'm fine, so we let it go. I'll go back to the kid in the wheelchair and hand him <laughs> I hand him one of his papers I managed to retrieve so this guy just got hit by a car and just gets straight back <laughs> up and he's like oh, it's alright just goes back to also did the, no one the else other, the other kids just sitting there going that is not fair yeah like yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck my you God. dude I I jumped oh my gosh I literally jumped higher than I ever did before came down and that was it. This guy gets hit by a fucking car and <laughs> fuck, fuck he, you. He just drops the rest of his papers and goes fuck you and you just rolls those off. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> I need the. Um, this was where the second fuck up happens. I look back at the bus stop and see that my bus arrived right on time. Literally never happens except for today, and is pulling away. 
I try to get the bus driver's attention, but it's too late. It's, and he doesn't care. It's like, <laughs> he looked at me. He gave me the middle. He looked finger. me right in the eye and said, <laughs> and mouthed in the mirror. You. Except it wasn't mouthed. He opened the window and screamed it at me. Fuck you! <laughs> he didn't notice me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a six mile walk home from where I am. And a while before the next bus. I could walk, but I have to be at work later. So I decided to call a lift. I pull my phone out. Only well, after, to realize after this experience, I was dead. like, fuck that. I'm just going to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> he just stands in the middle of the road. Hit me! <laughs> So I've just survived death. What am I going to do? Oh, Come back, baby. I'm not going to go for a nice, pleasant stroll on the way. I'm just going to get caught. <laughs> I pull my phone out only to realise it's dead. No worries. I have a portable charger in my bag. No, my phone! <laughs> I have a portable charger in my bag. My bag. Where the fuck is my bag? That kid stole my bag. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> He's just like going downhill. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. Hits a car instantly. <laughs> It's that same car instantly at the bottom. I had a bunch of important documents. Oh, he said, I left it sitting on a bench when I went to help the kid and someone must have taken it. I'm panicking at this point. I had a bunch of important documents in the bag along with a cheap Toshiba laptop and some other odds and ends. Oh, but, my pawn! But the, <laughs> <laughs> my one terabyte homework folder! A pawn! A pawn! That's not homework! <laughs> I'm so upset. And just pushes the kid. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll take your notes As instead. If, wait, so did it just did it just kind of get thrown when he got hit, or did someone did some cunt actually take the bag from the guy who was the only person who helped the kid who was knocked out of a wheelchair? <laughs> oh my god! Did someone actually go? This is my moment. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a failed criminal. <laughs> everything, everything else this is, is the failed. Worst criminal ever. <laughs> and it's, it's like candy from a baby. It's the bus or driver. Candy from a paralyzed child. <laughs> it was also a baby. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh, yeah, he's just like the worst criminal of all time. Every time he tries to rob something, it's like at five o'clock in the afternoon when everyone's coming home. He's like, ah, <laughs> not again. Fuck. His, his catchphrase is just, I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh, I'm sorry. Here is your bag. I had a bunch of important documents in the bag, along with a cheap Toshiba laptop and some other odds and ends. But the worst part of all was the brand new Nintendo Switch I had finally saved up for and bought less than a week ago. I was so bummed, I almost started crying. And I'm not I really a crier. Nintendo <laughs> <laughs> Mario! <laughs> He just starts using the kids' papers as, like, <laughs> tissue. I did this more than you, <laughs> I decided to just walk home. Unfortunately, my phone is dead, so I can't call my job to explain why I'm not there. About halfway through my walk, it starts raining. Of course, my umbrella was in my bag as well. I actually oh, start laughing at this point. Hey. I've gone completely oh, insane. Look on the broad. So I did life. My bag! <laughs> my Nintendo <laughs> Switch! <laughs> I actually start laughing at this point. I think I was just starting to lose it. I get home finally, soaked from the rain. Still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> soaked from the rain and with no keys to get into my house. Where are my keys, you ask? Uh, that's right. The kid stole them. <laughs> in the bag. I managed to break through a window in the back of the house. At this point, he's just like, fuck it. just runs at the window. Yeah. Head first. Just, <laughs> well, I didn't die again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invincible. Just jumps off a cliff, dies. Sweet um, release. Thank you, God. Um, so they're in the bag. He had to break through a window in the back of the house. But he tore his sweater climbing through the window. At this point, I don't even react. I just want this day to end. I charge my phone and fortunately my boss is the coolest and tells me not to worry. I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> he tells don't me not worry about it. We're not going to need you. You're invincible. 
Um, so he tells them not to come in for the day. Still sucks that I miss work, but silver lining, I walk into my living room and see the empty box for a new switch. And I actually start crying this time. <laughs> Poured myself a glass of bourbon, sat down on the couch with my dog. I don't know which god slash gods I pissed off yesterday. But at least I can't get any worse than this. And, he and then the bag. world ended. And his dog had the bag in the end. His dog was a disabled child. And Mystery solved. Done. <laughs> and that's the end of it, unfortunately. He didn't find his bag. Oh. But I will have a look at this. Uh, at this. Did he ever get a new switch? Well, sometimes uh, people add updates to these stories. Like, did the weeks Nintendo after. gods show favor to him? And probably not. No. He's probably dead now. He probably tried to jump off. Makes a cliff. sense. It is Reddit. I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> was he saying? Was he saying invincible or invisible? We'll never yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never see the results. I said invincible. <laughs> Ow. Well, with that, that will be all for this episode. Heard? Did you enjoy that one? I did. It was enjoyable. I thought that one was uh, was uh, I say a lot more concise. We probably went on for longer than we should. We rambled. We did. But we hope you enjoyed. That's it for this episode. Check out all our links at the uh, clueless into dot net our website. Fancy. It was very nice. It works. Um, all the links are there to all the stories that I've talked about, all the uh, Reddit posts and everything like that. Follow us at CluelessNet on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with when we upload. Email us anything that is legal. Or don't. To podcast at cluelessinter.net. Or don't. Or don't. At your own peril. That's exactly the word I was looking for. How did you know? I'll find you. <laughs> We'll be back in two weeks. Thank you for listening. And goodbye. Bye. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Marker. Marker. <laughs> <laughs>